Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Jindy Nails and Water for Elephants, and I'm going to stand with Pink Hollow Elephants. I've started off with Glitter Be Gone by Danny Digits and Jindy Nails and Water for Elephants, and I applied some Jealous and some Posh. The Jealous was to kind of fill in that glitter gap, and the Posh was to dry. I've also got my Fiber Nail Scraper and my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper, and this is the Bundle Monster Chit Chat Nails Plate. I'll be stamping with Miss Bliss from Color Club. It is not a stamping polish, but it works great. And I am going in with some tape and removing, because on most of my nails, I just want the elephants. I don't want the full design. Trying to get all that up. There we go. Nope, not quite. Almost, almost. Ugh. And I'm going to run that close to the tip of my nail. And we're going to repeat this on my other nails. And I try to work fairly quick when I've got regular polish that I'm stamping with. Um, and if you run into a problem with it not wanting to uh, stick to the nail, you can always put like a tacky coat down, like a real thin layer of some kind of clear coat, and that'll help it stick too. I didn't have to do that on this one. I am going in and redoing a little piece of it though. A little piece of it didn't take, so I just went in and did it. And now I'm going to use this full design on my ring finger. Sorry, I'm all the way out of frame. I'm having issues again. There we go. And they're kind of hard to see, but I promise you'll get to see a picture at the end. And you'll get to see that hollow just shining out at you. And now we're going to get this little pinky nail done with the little pink elephant. And I've stamped with a bunch of the Color Club Halo Hues, and they all just, they just are great. They really are awesome to stamp with. And I'm going to go in and add this other piece that didn't quite stick. And then I'm realizing, oh, my nail's too little for the other piece. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with some, some masking tape. And it's coming up pretty good, but I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some non-acetone or whatever nail polish remover, <laughs> whatever you prefer. And then I'm topping this one off with some posh top coat to get it to dry down. And I know the elephants are a little hard to see here, but in, in person and especially out in the sun, they just popped because they're hollow. <laughs> and I am capping my ends as usual. Try to hold on to this manicure just a little bit longer. But I really, really did like this one. And I knew when I was using that water for elephants that elephants were going to be involved when I got around to doing some nail art. And there we go. There's my final manicure. And here's my swatch photo. Woohoo! Love it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.